We go green in round! Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. Sorry it's been a while. I hope you're all well. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about about um, going to the Formula E Rome E Prix 2022. Whoa! So, if you know me, you will know that I am a massive fan of Formula E. Um, and I've, I've previously been a super fan for Envision Racing and Formula E themselves. And I've been on the podium both in person and virtually. And although I was lucky enough to manage to attend the London formula e races last year as a spectator it it's um i didn't get to see anyone i know or anything because of the covid restrictions at the time well thankfully covid restrictions have now lifted and all that and things are getting back to normal so I took the opportunity to attend the Rome E Prix for my 18th and 19th Formula E races and it wasn't as straightforward as you think because for a start I usually do all my races with Richard, my PA and carer. Unfortunately he couldn't actually make it to this race so for a while it looked like I wasn't going to go. But then my former college teacher and very good friend and fellow motorsport fan Jody stepped in and yeah, we'll explain how everything went for the Rome E Prix and the, my time in Rome and I'll be back later to debrief. So hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you at the end.
And then in second place is his compatriot and Envision Virgin, uh, Envision Driver, Robin Frines in P2. And in P1, Stoffel Van Dorn. So that is your grid for today's race. Now they've got the race. The crowd love him. him. He loves them as they're all stopped and lining up on the grid very slowly. Here are the lights. When all five lights go out, we go green in round. It's an even start. The front, but Robbie Price is going for it on stop of Van Dorn, but Van Dorn covers us off, locks up into turn one, but. It's all very much so close as they go. Oh, and oh, and Mahindra has spun, and there's a traffic jam. Oh my days! Oh, oh, it's Oliver Rowland. Oh, and someone else has gone off. Maximilian Gunter has gone off. Apologies, you can't really see as there's trees in the way, but. We'll gloss over that as they now come down the hill. No safety car. They are flying. So, half the grid has made it through. And Giovinazzi and Sete Camaro are going through. In a seconda position, next in second place from Envision Racing is Robin Fries. E ora l'inno nazionale del pilota vincitore. The national anthem of the winning driver from New Zealand. <laughs> Good luck, Antonio. Thanks, man.
Tell Sam you got scalp. Good luck, Sam. I've got it. <laughs> Here we are, race two of the 2022 Rome E Prix, and two-time champion John Eric Verne. Here come the cars now, about to electrify the streets of Rome. As Jem now makes his way down to the grid. Come on Sam, come on Robin. Antonio Felix da Costa is there, set a camera. And then it's the Venturis. Great Indian champion Nick De Vries is down at the bottom towards the back. Oliver Rowland, Sebastian Boemi are next with Maxi Gunter and Oliver Askew. Nick Cassidy, Alex Sims and the Neo. 333 3 of Dan Tickton and then everyone's favourite Antonio Giovinazzi followed by Oliver Turvey and the medical car. Here come the lights when all five lights go out. We go green in Rome and it's a brilliant start for Jeb. But what about Jake Dennis? I can't see because of the tree. Apologise for the view. There's a lovely tree inside blocking the view. And here we go. Here's Robin Frey! It was just so good just to be at a Formula E race again, seeing my 
Formula E family, as I call them. So many familiar faces who I've not seen in over two, possibly three years. All oh, pardon me. I got to see the drivers again. <laughs> Antonio and Sam gave me their hats. Envision Racing gave me their sunglasses. And of course, with me not being able to take my flags, I was worried that nobody would recognise me with a mask on as well. But thankfully, what I learnt is I don't need my flags to be recognised and people just love me for who I am. It just meant so much to be going back to Formula E and being reunited with my family. And also just to be out of the country again, managing to overcome obstacles I was worried about like Covid and Brexit, with it being the first time that those have happened. And yeah, it's just good, you know, just to be back. I'm really looking forward to doing my next Formula E races in Berlin. Berlin race one will be my 20th Formula E race, providing I can travel over there. Of course, there's still uncertainty with COVID at the moment, so I'm not going to say it's a definite. But if I do make it there, that would be so awesome. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I will hopefully be back again soon to update you with how my skydive is going. If you would like to donate, we've just passed the halfway point. Link is in the description. And yeah, I'll tell you more about that soon as well. But And hopefully I'll also be doing a blog about... Uh, a vlog about the Berlin e -Prix. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all well. And yeah. Thank you. And see you in the next video. Bye.